if as a result of his presidency the world does indeed end, won't it be marvellous to think it happened in our time? <laughs> he might change what the word presidential means. Like, in a few years, yeah. you'll be going, oh, my uncle fell over and banged his head on a curb. He's been rendered completely presidential. <laughs> <laughs> he dismissed the head of the FBI this week. Comey, James Comey? Mr Comey was dismissed. Comey over. Because he was... <laughs> Investigating his connections with Russia. And now there's an inquiry. Who's been put in charge of the inquiry? They've got a special prosecutor. Oh. A former... Yeah. Yeah, head of the FBI. FBI. And Robert when you open up that special Lula. prosecutor, there'll be another little special prosecutor. <laughs> you open up, there'll be another. <laughs> <little prosecutor. laughs> and eventually, it's a little um... bloke saying, "Did you do it?" <laughs> He's Robert Miller, who was the former FBI director. Yeah, James Comey's done something to get his revenge on Trump. Many ideas. He has produced his memo. Oh, he yes, kept he a memorandum. Write, didn't he? Yes, yes. After Trump tweeted that he had kept, or suggested he might have kept a recording of the dinner that took place in February. Comey then came back to say, well, I kept a memorandum. And he said, will you drop the Russian stuff? So, basically, he accused him of literally trying to interfere in the process of justice. And the Americans don't like that very much. So, it is all going wrong. Yeah. And then the best bit was Putin, who was like, oh, if you want the transcript, we've got one. <laughs> How did Trump's administration respond to Comey's leak? With confusion. <laughs> <laughs> With incredible confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, according to online news website Daily Beast's uh, one official said, I felt like running down the hallway <laughs> with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs>